chitarra e la voce che vi vuole in arte tempo Bon. Yo, what's up? It's uh, my kicks somewhere in Spain. Somewhere. Uh, and I've had some questions about touring. Um, and I'm bored. So I figured I'd answer some questions. So here we go. The inspiration behind touring is uh, it's what came with the gig. I started playing with Kev Mo and they said, get your uh, passport. And I had heard that before. And stuff kind of fell through the cracks. Plus, it was very difficult to get my passport. But, you know, they were serious. I got it. And uh, here I am, a year later, uh, still touring. Still got the gig, thankfully. And uh, I guess one of the biggest inspirations really has been my friends, I might mess around and run into somebody. For instance, I ended up seeing Dewan Hill. And Akil Thompson. In Australia and we live in the same city and I hardly ever see them. So that aspect of touring is cool. And am I glad that I took the gig? Yeah, <laughs> no complaints at all. How do I memorize the songs? It's just part of uh, who I am as a musician. Um, my uh, chart reading game is still uh, being developed and under construction. Thank you, Maestro. Thank you. Two, three, two, no. two, three, four. Bye -bye. That's when we have the little new it's, it's a blues. Is this a blues from East We also play this stuff night after night, and we rehearse it rather diligently. So you prepare for the rehearsals and then the rehearsals prepare you for the tours and it kind of just becomes a part of you, you know. Do I get tired of doing the same music? Yes. Uh, some songs, some songs I enjoy doing night after night. Other songs, I was tired of them a long time ago, but... Dang. The phone's right now. I gotta get the phone. I'll be back. Right Hello? Yes. What is that? They're talking in Spanish. I don't know what they're saying. That was somebody calling me saying something in Spanish. I don't I don't I don't even know what they just said. I don't they just said I said hello? Hello, uh my guy? Yeah. Something, 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 something. I don't know what's happening. Nobody ever calls my room. You saw it first. I don't even know where I was. Dang, this dude calling me again. Hold on. Hello? The airport? The telephone? What about it? Hello? From what? From the airport? Okay. Do I have a... Yes. C. No. Oh, okay. Um, can I have my tour manager call you? Uh, yes. Give me just a second. Let me grab a pen. This is crazy, I gotta tell y'all this story. Okay, what's the telephone number? Okay, I gotta go, be right back. Okay, I'm back. So what happened was, uh, the other day we flew into 
an airport in Spain and one of our guitars didn't show up. It was checked under my name and so they just called my room to say that they got it in like two days later or whatever else. So that's what just happened. It's real random. But stuff like that happens. Oh yeah. Do I get tired of doing the same music? Yes. Some songs I love and I don't get tired of. There's one song in particular I was tired of a long time ago. And it may not be the song. It may just be my part in the song or the way we're playing the song. I don't know. But yeah, I'm tired of it. But it's okay because, you know, you know. <laughs> uh, do I ever get asked to sign autographs? Yes. How often? Just about every night or after every show, depending on, you know, what happens afterwards. If we leave immediately or if we don't come out amongst the crowds of people, then no. But chances are, after we finish playing, if we walk out and there are people around and we're signing autographs, and uh, it, it is what it is, I guess. Part of that, too, goes hand in hand with the way that Kev presents us. You know, everybody gets an opportunity to solo. Everybody gets an opportunity to have some shine. And so everybody looks like an artist. So, you know, it kind of makes us bigger than what we are. Or as he would probably say, he just allows us to be the most us that we can be. <laughs> How has the culture impacted me as a musician? Um, we don't really get too much of the culture. We're in and out of most places that we go. Like when we were in Paris, we were in Paris for less than 24 hours. We got there, checked into the hotel room, put our stuff in the room, and went straight to sound check. And we were there until after the gig, and then we had to leave the next morning at 5 o'clock. So, you know, it's hard to be impacted by the culture because you don't really see too much of the culture. But what happens is the little bit of the culture that you do see impacts you as a person. And then the person that I am impacts the music that I do, if that makes any sense. Is the feeling on stage different from when I'm with my band? Absolutely. It's completely different. I don't get tired when we play a show. Uh, the pressure's not on me, the pressure's really on care. And uh, it's not as, as personal for me. Um, and I go a lot harder with the funk punks. But, you know, that's to be expected. So it's, it's definitely a different feeling, but it's, it's a good place to be in because I can listen and it gives me a better place from which to deal with, you know, my other band members at home. So uh, it's cool and I'm grateful for it. I'm grateful for it. That's it for now. If you got some questions, hit me up and uh, we'll make it do what it do. I, I'll, answer them, give you a little more footage, some pictures, if you want. If not, I'll just stop here. So, it's on you. Peace.